You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. Well this week we're taking a look at Photosmith. It's an application that allows you to use your camera connection kit. So once you have your photos in, either RAW or JPEG or both, into your iPad, you can open Photosmith and then you can go in and you can tag and rate, keyword and describe, add uh, IPTC data, all of that kind of stuff to your photos. And then, here's the thing that makes it really awesome. You can uh, then just sync that to Lightroom. And so all of that data goes from your iPad over to Lightroom. So if you're on the go and you need to uh, quickly go and, and keyword and do all of your titling and everything on your photos, you can do that right on your iPad and then it goes right into Lightroom. And so then you can do all of that bulk processing that you need to do. So let's take a closer look at Photosmith. Photosmith is an application that allows you to go through your photos that are on your iPad and tag those and make sure they're ready to go right into Lightroom. And so what we're going to do here is as soon as you open the application, you get this nice little tutorial here. So if you're brand new to it, it'll sort of help you understand what you need to do. I'm going to dismiss that because I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, by default, every single photo that's in your photo library is going to show up in Photosmith. So if I scroll through here, you'll see that all of my photos are in. And then what we have is we have all of our photos. We can just see the last import. And so this is the last import from your camera connection kit. You can see which photos you haven't marked yet. And then you can also select photos. And so to select a photo, I, all I have to do is just, just use two fingers to click that. And then I'll see that there's a little check mark that says I've selected it. And so you'll see that selecting and deselecting photos comes in handy a little bit while later. You can also go in and just say, I want to select all of them. And when you click something here, it'll say select or share. Or you can say, I want to select none. Uh, and then uh, if you want to share, uh, what you have to do is you have to select a few of these. And then you can click share. And then you can say send just the selected ones or send all of them. If you say just the selected ones, you can send those to Facebook, Flickr, Dropbox, or email. And that makes it really handy to select photos that are winners and then send them out to your friends and family or clients. So I'm going to close that. And I'm going to go back here to select and I'm going to say none. So again, I'm only working with the last imported photos. I could go to all photos or last imported. But what I want to do is I want to go through these and since this is a photo set, I want to create a collection. Now collections are used just like they are in Lightroom to organize photos. So I already have a, con a collection here uh, that's called Brenda. And here are four photos that I've added to that. And those photos come from my all photos. So all of the photos that are in my library, I selected a few of these that are Brenda and added those to a collection. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to our last imported. And these are some photos that I took uh, for a digital photography one-on-one -on -one episode about shooting groups. And I don't want to use all of these photos. Some of them are just test shots and uh, playing around. So what I want to do though is I do want to create a new collection. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and select all of these photos. And then I'll just push and hold. And when I do that, these are all going to collect together. I'll drag that down to a new collection. And then I have this new collection and I can name this. And so what I want to do here is I want to name this something like group shots. So I'll go in here and I'll type this in group shots and I'm using my wireless keyboard. That's why the keyboard went away. So I'll call that group shots. I like that. And so now we have a group shots collection. So now I can go between these different uh, collections here to really quickly see things. Now all of these have been selected by default. I don't want them to be selected. So I'll just say none. So now none of them are selected. Now we can get to the business of actually tagging these, rating them, and keywording our photos. And all of that stuff is going to go right into Lightroom, and I'll show you that in a minute. So what we're going to do here is these start with the oldest at the bottom and the newest first. And so we're going to go into the brand newest. And these are some shots that we're just playing around at the end of the day. I really don't like this shot. And so what I'll do is I'm going to flag that as rejected. Now as soon as we get this, we have this notice that comes up. And because of some technical issues, Photos that are rejected are not flagged as rejected in Lightroom when you sync those. But what they will do is they just they won't sync to Lightroom. So if you flag it as rejected, it's not going to go over and be transferred to Lightroom. So I'm going to not show this every time. I'm going to dismiss that. And now what I can do is I can either just swipe through these and say that's another rejected one and swipe to the next one and say, yeah, I like that one. So I'm going to rate it three stars. I can also turn on something called Auto Advance. Now this is really cool. Now when Auto Advance is on, I'm going to go to the next photo here. 
I like that one, so I'm going to rate it three stars. Boom, I go right to the next photo. And then I can say, no, that's a reject. Boom, I'm at the next photo. So you can quickly go through these and you can start rejecting or picking or rating and it just automatically moves to the next one. Now this one, Jack's being really funny, so no, we're gonna say that's a reject. And you can see that this is really quick for us to go through here and do all these ratings. Now up here, we have these buttons that allow us to see uh, sort of this group shot, the, the grid mode. We can see this uh, sort of like our film strip at the bottom or we can do full screen. And so we can see uh, different views of these. So I'm gonna go back here to my grid view, just really quickly, and you can start to see that we have these icons that show that things are being rejected and rated as different star ratings. And those also will pull in uh, as you're going through on these different views. Even in full screen, we can see that says two stars, that says three stars, that says four stars. That one here is nothing, and I can go in here and reject it immediately. And so you can see that this is really, really quick. Now we can do some other things here. I'm back down here in film strip view. I can go and add my photo title. So I'm gonna uh, say uh, this one here is Diane laughing. I need to be able to type to do this. So I'll say this is Diane laughing. Then I can add a caption here uh, and this will be Diane laughs it at Jack. And I have to spell that correctly. But you get the idea, I can go in here and start adding all kinds of things uh, uh, to my photos. Now the other thing I can do are add keywords. What you would normally do is as you build your keyword library, uh, they show up here. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna add some keywords. So this is gonna have a keyword of Diane and I can say add Diane there. So when I do that, now Diane is added. I'm gonna go in here and add another uh, keyword called Jack. Add that, so now Jack is added. And I'm gonna add, uh, Kelsey. So now Kelsey is added. And then I'm going to go in here and add group. So it takes a little bit to add your keywords at first. You can also uh, bulk upload these keywords. So let's say I wanted to do a uh, t-shirt and um, let's see, we'll call it purple and happy. So I can do that. And so I have all three of those added. And you can see that now all of these keywords are starting to uh, show up in my keyword list. Now if I go to a different photo, so let's go to this photo right next to it here. If I want to add some keywords, if I click on that, now I can just go through here and say, okay, Kelsey's in there and happy and it's a group shot. And I can just sort of start clicking on those to add those. I don't have to type them in. And as you get long, uh, more and more keywords, then you can actually page through or search to add keywords. And so that's how keywording works. Now, one thing you cannot do is add a bunch of keywords to one shot and then bulk uh, upload those to a bunch of other shots. So what I suggest you do is add all those keywords to one shot and then do all of that in Lightroom itself where you're copying from one photo to all the other ones. But it's really easy to add keywords. The other thing you can add here are location information, IPTC data, all of that stuff that you want to keep with your photos. It's really, really quick. Now, let's talk about the thing that makes PhotoSmith a standout application, and that's its ability to take all of this stuff that you just created and throw it into Lightroom. Now to do that, what you'll need to do is go up here and click this little sync icon, and this is going to say we're ready to go. Um, and so what it's doing is it's waiting for Lightroom to kick off its plugin. It's a free plugin that you can download for Lightroom. And once that happens, it'll start syncing the applications. Now once you're in Lightroom, just go to File, Plugin Extras, and then you're gonna choose iPad to Lightroom Sync. Once you click that, you're gonna get this dialog box. It's gonna look for your iPad. Once it finds it, you're gonna choose what you'd like to sync. So we're gonna choose Group Photos. That's what I just created. Then we're gonna tell it what directory to put this in, and then we'll just click Sync. Now, once you click Sync, your files are gonna start transferring over Wi-Fi, and you'll see those start to show up in your Lightroom catalog. Well, that's PhotoSmith for the iPad. Now, one of the things that we uh, did discover when we were working with this application is that there are some hardware limitations. In other words, if you're shooting with RAW files, when you go to sync those, because of the speed of a normal Wi-Fi network, it takes about one minute per photo to transfer from the iPad into Lightroom. So if you're talking about several hundred RAW photos from an extended trip, or well, you're talking about hours for all those to transfer. 
Well, that's something you can just set up at night. When you wake up in the morning, everything's going to be done. So I don't think it's too big of a deal breaker. The other thing I did notice is the inability to uh, keyword tag one photo and then batch process that to a bunch of photos. But you can do that in Lightroom, and that's the joy of being able to sync straight from your iPad into Lightroom. So that sort of takes care of that. Well, there you have it. It's Photosmith for the iPad. Remember, if you have an iPad app that you'd like us to review, send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.